In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to get started using Obsidian as a complete beginner. Here's what I'm going to cover in this video. Feel free to use the chapters to skip ahead and rewatch certain sections. First, you'll need to have Obsidian downloaded to your device. To do that, go to obsidian.md slash download and download the app to your device. And Obsidian has apps for Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android. So whatever device you're on, make sure to download the appropriate version. Once you've got Obsidian downloaded, let's create our first vault. Upon opening the app, you'll get this prompt. Choose your language, then hit this purple create button. From here, give your vault a name. I'm gonna call this YouTube demo. Then click on the browse button to choose a location where this vault will be stored on your computer. After hitting save, you're now inside of our new Obsidian Vault. Here at the top, you can see the vault name, YouTube demo, and under the vault name are where our notes will be stored and organized. Time to create your first note. Here above your vault name, click on this pencil icon. You've just created your first note. By default, it's called untitled, but you can click on the name and type in a new name, then hit enter in order to rename that note. I'll click on untitled and type in here, first note. Then I hit enter and now I can write anything I want into my note. You've created your first note. Here's how to format it. Obsidian uses something called Markdown for formatting. This means I can create an H1 heading, the biggest type of heading, by typing in one hashtag, then pressing space after the hashtag and adding whatever my H1 title is. Same thing for an H2, but now I'll add two hashtags, one, two, space, then type in my heading. Same with H3, H4, H5, all the way down to H6. Six hashtags, space, then my heading. If I don't put hashtags in front of text, it's just going to default to normal paragraph size font, like this. To make text bold, you can add two asterisks before the word or words, then two asterisks after the last word you want to bold. So if I want to make paragraph bold, the word paragraph, I'll put my cursor before the word, and type two asterisks. Then I'll go to the end of the word and type two asterisks. If I wanna make words italics, I just do one asterisk before the word and one asterisk at the end of the word. Lastly, it's time to link notes to each other. To link notes together in Obsidian, we first need to create another couple notes. So go back to the pencil icon up here, click it, and we now have a new note. I'm going to title mine Law of Supply and Demand, then I'll hit enter, and in the note, I'm going to paste in a definition which says the amount of a commodity product or service available, yada, yada, yada. I'm not gonna read that whole thing. I'm gonna create a second note using the same method, pencil icon. This one will be called the basics of economics. I'll hit enter and type the core economic principle is the, then I'm gonna type in two open brackets and after the brackets, start typing law of. Now, Below where I'm typing, the note I created, Law of Supply and Demand, pops up as an option. Click on it. And now that note has successfully been linked to the note that I'm currently on. With that link established, I can navigate to that note by clicking on it. So that's it. That's how to get set up with Obsidian. Subscribe to the channel for more Obsidian tutorials like this.